This next unit is all about stellar evolution. Here we can see a generalized infographic outlining the various paths that a star may take during its life after it's first born, as it grows up, and eventually enters the late stages of life before approaching its inevitable death. So this unit is not only about stellar evolution, but also about the inevitable death of stars. We'll begin by learning about the evolutionary stages and the eventual deaths of low-mass stars. Then we'll move on to talk about the evolution and death of medium-mass stars like our own sun, and the evolution and death of high-mass stars. But before getting into all that, we'll first look at the stars of the main sequence and try to get a better understanding of the statistics of these stars. For example, how many of these main sequence stars are like our sun? Or how many are large, bright, hot, and blue? How many are small, dim, cool, and red? Is there some type of ratio that can help us get a better picture of this general idea? To answer that, we have to explore some of these concepts.